Sadie's in Lexington, Kentucky. Hi, Sadie. How are you? Hi, Dave. Thanks for taking my call. Sure. What's up? Um, me and my husband, we've been talking, and um, we where we live, there's a house right beside us, and it's on the market uh, about 84000 and it's butted up, like, right against us, and we have a fence separating us, but um, we have been talking about buying that house, and you're going to think I'm crazy, but we didn't want to keep it. We just wanted to tear it down and flatten out the land and maybe put a pool there. And we live in town, um, so we kind of live on a busy street and stuff, too. But we were just afraid if somebody bought that house that when they moved into it, they would kind of run it down and make our property go down. But I have heard you talk about kind of overbuilding up the neighborhood, like you don't want to make your house, you know, uh, way more valuable than the other homes in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So I was a little Uh, concerned about that. When you bought your home, was that house there? Yeah. And you weren't worried about it then? Well, no, but uh, we that's true. Okay. <laughs> but we are wanting a little bit more space. Do you have $84,000? Well, that's, that's what I was wanting to ask you. Yes, we have it. But I'm concerned about should would I get more, should I invest that, mm-hmm. which we already are investing, or mm-hmm. do you think that we're financially capable mm-hmm. of, of buying this? Is your house paid off? It is. Very good. What's your household income? Um, it's between 95 and 100. And how much do you have saved not in retirement? 130000 Okay, cool. Okay. And so um, here's the thing. Basically, you're going to lose money on this transaction uh, in order to get buffer zone. Okay? Mm-hmm. Because here, if we take that house and tear it down, and we put a pool there, it does not mm-hmm. add $84,000 in value to your home, does it? So my husband said, yeah. <laughs> and so you're going to lose money on the transaction. Right. But that's okay if you're willing to do that. You have got you can afford it. You've got the money, and you're going to just lose money. So what do, do lots in the neighborhood sell for? Uh, just regular lots? Yeah, if you, you, you want like to, to put a blank lot with no house on it on the market next door to you, that lot, what would it sell for? What's the dirt worth? Um, probably 20 25 okay. okay. All right. So we, yeah. know, we know later on you could sell it for, for 30 or 40 So you're going to lose 50 mm-hmm. grand plus the cost of the pool. It'll go up in value, but you're going to lose somewhere around 50 grand on the transaction, depending on when you sell it someday. Well, if you sell it 20 what years would you from do? now. Hmm? What? what would you do? Would you invest that money, or would you do, like, if if we didn't plan on, I'm 33, my husband's 36, if we didn't ever plan on moving, which I know you really can't say that because you don't yeah. really know what the future holds, but yeah. what would you do? Um, given your net worth, I wouldn't lose 50 grand a day. You have 100, if you if you told me you had a million 300,000 in the account instead of 130,000, I might do it. Okay, but basically what what you're buying is peace of mind and space. You're not buying Mm -hmm. an investment. There's no investment return on this. It's a loss. And so you're paying, you're paying for the peace of mind of nobody being next to you and the opportunity to put a pool in and have an expanded yard and so forth. And that's okay to do. The house that I Mm -hmm. live in, I bought the adjacent 20 acres for that reason. Now that Mm -hmm. I paid, I paid price, I paid dirt price for it. I, mean, I just paid wow. for the dirt. I didn't tear down a house. And someday I can sell it, and it'll go have gone up in value. So it at least will go up in value. But I didn't buy it as an investment. I bought it so there were more trees between me and people. That's why I bought it. Would, would you do it with a net worth of, like, 650000 Well, that's your net worth. That includes the value of your home and your and your 401Ks and your 33. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's it's okay. The question is, do okay. you guys want to lose? Let's just say you're going to lose fifty thousand bucks. You're gonna, mm-hmm. you're just going to write a check and throw it out the car window as you drive down the interstate for fifty grand, in order to have yeah. this peace of mind. If you it's guys can get thing. there to where you're comfortable doing that emotionally, then that tells you if you can do it or not. Okay, it need, it's th- it is throw it's a throwaway money. It's not an investment decision. Mm-hmm. It's a lifestyle decision. The same thing could be said. Let's say this. Let's say that you desired 
one of your great desires in life was to go on a cruise and take your mother and father and his mother and father, and you were going to go on a cruise that was three weeks long, and it was 50000 bucks for the three couples. Okay? Mm-hmm. You can afford to do that. I wouldn't, <laughs> Well, I mean, it, it's... Uh, well, you might not want to go with them, but... <laughs> I'm trying to come up with some appealing scenario here. I messed up. But <laughs> no, I appreciate it. Yeah, you so. see, the, the point is, can you afford to consume instead of invest 50 grand? Yeah, you probably can. Do you want to at this stage? I kind of doubt it, financially speaking. I kind of wouldn't. But if you really, you know, if you really, 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 really want to do it, then do it. You know, it's not a big deal. And I, I, um, I own several of uh, my, I own several lots adjacent to properties that I live in, you know, my lake house, I bought adjacent lots to that too. Same thing. Just to keep, just to give me a distance between people and me. I like people, but I like them when I want to like them <laughs> instead of knocking on my door at four in the morning. And so, you know, that, that, that kind of stuff. So anyway, the, the, it's, that that the same thing, same concern you've got there. Is somebody going to move in next door and trash the place, and then you got a, you know, you got some goober hillbilly living next to you or something? You know, you just you got a problem with that. So you got to think through that. And is it worth fifty grand? It's more worth fifty grand to you than it is your husband. I can tell that from talking to you. And so, um, but you cannot call it an investment. You call it consumption, because I think we've established this transaction loses money. So are you going to consume some money? The money's likely never coming back to the tune of about 50000 bucks, give or take here, um, in order to just have this buffer. And is that worth that to you? I'd be more tempted to just move than I would do that. But it's up to you. You can do whatever you want to do. Uh, good question. It's an interesting discussion. Thanks for the call. You know, that's one thing you do it, that I see. I'm, I, as I meet wealthy people, it's one thing they do. They do what she was doing. She was very wise because she, she's asking a question. She realizes it's an emotional decision, and she's trying to work through it mathematically and emotionally. It's good to do both, and it's okay to do something on an emotional basis. Just admit it. Don't act like you were smart. Just say, I wanted to do it. Shut up. And just admit it, and that's called enjoying some of your wealth. You're just admitting it. You're just going, I just wanted to do it. Shut up. No other reason. And that's a good enough reason if you can afford to write the check. This is the Dave Ramsey Show.